Okay, so I'm just going to do a quick little cage tour. Most of the stuff you guys have probably seen. Got the watermelon fleece, a pellet dish for them. This is what their fruit goes in. Still have that same basket. We have a toy and a little bridge. They love to chew on this, as you can see. And then we have the uh, scarf holder going all the way down litter box right there because that's where they like to pee and poop. Mm -hmm. We have a watermelon um, hammock. Hold on, honey. Sorry, my son just walked in. Uh, we have a Sputnik back there with some fleece. This basket, which I forgot to put the paper in there, but I have a bunch of crinkle paper that will go in there or packaging paper will go in there. Another little Sputnik. I'm leaving these pretty bare because they love to carry it up. You'll see on the bottom level. And then just same baskets. I put, I had a, hid a little bit of treats. And then there's just a little piece of fleece to catch any pee. Um, we have a little toy over here. Their little tunnel. This, which they have to open to get the treats out. We have a box back here with a ton of packing paper. There's also treats in there. We have one toy right here. Another one, they love this one. And this is a newer one. They got this for Easter. Um, I don't think they really like, oh yeah, they do, they've chewed on it. They got that one, it was like four bucks, really good deal. So that's the top level of my Double Critter Nation. Oh, and then the door, foraging wheel, lava ledge, water bottle. Okay, moving down to the bottom. I haven't vacuumed my floor yet. I just cleaned their cage, that's why also I have gloves on. So there's the ramp. We always just kind of leave this here. They like to chew on it and it, they like to jump from there to over here. We have this little toy they love. They've already shredded off so much of it. It used to be so much bigger. Back there's an old coffee box with a ton of paper in it. We have the same old hammock they don't they just literally use this to run across so it doesn't really get dirty very often which is kind of nice um and then we have this they like to just chew on it i got it at the dollar tree same little rope over here um i'm gonna buy some bigger ones of those i'm gonna eventually try to get this middle kate the middle level out and have it completely full but right now i just don't have the enough stuff so here's another box Shredded Easter paper with some packing paper. Tons of packing paper. Their Aspen bedding. A tunnel. A little igloos back there. Another litter tray. And I leave that hanging so that way they can kind of shred it up if they want to. Um, they have eaten the Coroplast. That's why that box is right there. So I'm probably just going to go get a cement mixing tub. I thought the Coroplast was gonna work, but my curls are just so destructive. Okay, and so on this side, yes, I have all the cleanup stuff still here. Um, I have a water bottle and a lava ledge, and then this is like a bird ledge, but it's like the same as the lava ledge. And then over here is another little dish. Um, sometimes I like to put like water in there so they can kind of splash around in it. The only downside is, they also like to pull it off because my girls are destructive. So that's the cage setup right now. I don't switch it up too often. Um, I just did a quick fleece change and box change and bedding change. I didn't switch up the Sputniks. I did just a simple wipe down. I didn't clean bars, nothing like that. I just did that a few days ago. So we're just kind of leaving it for now. So let's see how the girls like it.